introduce our first uh, speaker. He's someone that um, when Shila Gurudev came to South Africa would spend many years with uh, this Prabhuji in his home and Achyuta Prabhu, this Prabhuji is Achyuta Prabhu and he would uh, spend many years serving Shila Gurudev and arranging many programs for Shila Gurudev in South Africa um, and he, he has always been serving Shila Gurudev for many years and it continues to serve Shila Gurudev. So um, without further ado, if you can hear me, I would like to um, introduce our first speaker, Achuta Prabhu from South Africa. Achuta Prabhu, can you hear me? Haribol, Adikishma. Can you hear me? Yes, we can't see you though. Oh, um, um, let me try. Can you see me now? Can you see me now? Yes, wonderful. Thank you so much. Dandavat Pranams. So thank you for uh, having me and thank you for hosting this wonderful Zoom conference. I've been following whenever I can. And there's so many uh, senior Vaishnavas are coming, really inspiring. And um, this is a, in this day and age, this is what we need. Um, so thank you for hosting this. And it's, it's really um, been helpful to me and to other devotees as well. So um, can I start? Yes, please. So how many how many minutes I've got to talk? Uh, 20, 25 minutes, Prabhuji. Okay. All right, sure. Jnana Timirandasya, Jnana Jnana Salakaya, Chakshuran Militam Jena, Tasme Si Guruve Namaha, Maum Vishnupadaya, Radhikaya Priyatmane, Sisimar Bhakti Vedanta, Narayan Itinamine. So first of all, I'd like to offer my Sastanga Pushpanjali Dandavat Pranam to Shri Gurudev and to uh, AC Bhaktivedanta Swami Shri Prabhupada of Param Gurudev and to today's uh, auspicious disappearance here to the Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur and our Guru Varg, our Rupanuga Guru Varg and to all the Vaishnavas and Vaishnavas that are listening in. So um, I came in uh, contact with Shri Gurudev uh, in the early uh, 90s, but I haven't, I had not physically met uh, Shila Gurudev. And uh, I was in ISKCON, and uh, the first contact was with, uh, from uh, ISKCON Guru, that uh, when I was in ISKCON. And, uh, but you know, the controversy, you know, we should not leave ISKCON, and there was so much of negative things being said about Shila Gurudev at that time. And uh, and I was quite young in, in East Con at that time. I know I was still in uh, primary school, my last year in primary school that we actually became uh, you know, devotees. And uh, like that, we um, came in contact with, uh, with East Con, with the Krishna consciousness. And um, when I heard about Chila Gurudev, um, you know, and his glories and that he's such a senior in a Vaishnav, in a Gaudiya Vaishnav tradition, that I began to do, uh, do some research. And uh, immediately when I started reading the first book that I read of Srila Gurudev was the, the origin of uh, Rati Yatra. And when I read that book, you know, it was like, you know, I haven't, I haven't heard anything like this because although being in ISKCON, I never heard Katha like this. So, you know, um, in 2006, I went to uh, India, but we went to India with, uh, with a group of uh, devotees, ISKCON devotees from the area that I live in. So when we got uh, there, I, I had this desire that I'm going to see Shila Gurudev. So it was one Ikadasi uh, day, and uh, so was, at that time they, they had the, the 
uh, rickshaw wala, the bicycle. So I was going somewhere, and on the parikram path, I saw the Guruji's oh, disciples. Oh. They were having a, 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 a on parikram, and they had you know the the Mahaprabhu deity that they take on on parikram. So I told this uh, uh, rickshaw wala, I told him just pull on the side there, let the parikram party go. So one devotee came up to me and he says, Prabhu, this is Narayan Maharaj's uh, group. And then I, I tried to look at, to see if Gurudev, Shri Gurudev was uh, there, but I, I, you know, he, he was not there. So, and I was alone. So I said, um, so that evening, we all went to the uh, Yamuna River next to Gopinath Bhavan. And, and I saw uh, Gurudev's uh, Gopinath Bhavan temple, but because I was with these other devotees, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't go, you know. But I was praying in my heart. I says, I need to go. But somehow it did not happen. So when we came back uh, to South Africa, I wrote an email to Gurudev, and Gurudev replied by a Brajanath Prabhu, and Gurudev said, I wrote in the email that I was in in, in Brindavan. I'm coming from Brindavan, but unfortunately I could not meet you. I'm, I was desiring so much to meet with you. And then Shri Gurudev wrote back and he replied that uh, um, one day we will meet together. And he says, by the way, I have I have one sannyasi and one brahmachari at the moment in South Africa. I will uh, give them your details and you can communicate with them. So that uh, sannyasi was uh, Shripad Sajjan Maharaj and Jagmohan Prabhu. So I gave, he gave us the, um, the email address, I communicated with Sajjan Maharaj, I met Sajjan Maharaj, and it began from there, you know, um, and Sajjan Maharaj came to my home, and Jack Mohan Prabhu came to my home, and, you know, all the doubts that, uh, well, all the, the things that we're hearing, they clarified and they cleared it out, and he, uh, he made uh, he made it known that, you know, Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada are one in heart. And that Shri Prabhupada, Shri Sajjan Maharaj was saying Shri Prabhupada is so pleased with Shri Gurudev's uh, preaching. And when I, when Sajjan Maharaj was glorifying Shri Gurudev and Shri Prabhupada together, this is actually the first um, interaction I actually had with one of uh, Shri Gurudev's uh, disciples or sannyasis. And I was convinced, you know, and, and you know, in the background that I've been brought up in, in South Africa, in being in an Indian, family was that we always respect our, our seniors and elders. And when when I heard what how Iskan was treating Shri Gurudev, it, it just I couldn't I couldn't stay in that society anymore. So um Sajan Maharaj he um he wrote to Srila Gurudev and he explained to him uh, that you know our situation that we're in Iskan. And um, so I asked Sajan Maharaj that should I leave is Iskan now? Because at the time I was engaged in a lot of seva in ISKCON, and he says, no, you carry on with your seva, but if they become unfavorable to me associating with the Guru, then I've got to decide. So eventually I told my, my Guru um, that, uh, so I went to Guru Dev and, and Guru Dev says, uh, said that uh, I asked Guru Dev for, we want to take uh, shelter under him. He says, first you have to inform the ISKCON authorities. He wrote in the email. So, I was a bit, uh, I did not want to, because, you know, at that time I had a lot of, um, because I met uh, the, the, the sannyasi, uh, Patasarati Das Goswami Maharaj. He was the, my guru in ISKCON. And from a young boy, I was with him. And, uh, um, and I had a lot of respect for him. And, you know, he, um, he actually got me to, to, to chant more, you know, holy name. And, uh, so he inspired me a lot, and he was taking Siksha Guru, from Guru Dev in the 90s with the, the GBC. He was part of that group. So eventually I, I went and told, I spoke to him, I told him um, I'm taking association of Shila Narayan Maharaj, and this is Sanyasi, and he says, no, 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 no. He says, this is, this. I, I must completely, I must stop it immediately because actually Prabhupada said that we should not associate with his problems. So, um, and then he went on, you know, he said so many things in his room. And Sajjan Maharaj prepared me. He says, this is what they're going to say. This is how they're going to react. So you've got to be prepared for it. So we listened, my wife and I listened uh, 
to what all he had to say. And in my mind, then I thought same time, I says, well, this is it, you know, uh, this is the last time I'll, I'll actually be in his association and I'm gone. So after we left his home where he was staying, I jumped into my car and I told my wife, well, this is the last we'll be here. We'll never, we'll never return here. And so um, we made that decision and we wrote him an email and we, says, uh, we thanked him for all that he's done for us and we, uh, Guru, and uh, we rejected him because Guru Dev said in that email, if your Guru, Iskon Guru, uh, uh, stops you from going and seeing any high class Vaishnav, then you should reject him. And so I rejected him completely. And he didn't take it well. It was, there was, you know, him, his disciples, and Iskon itself, they came to meet with me and they tried to convince me. You know, one of the temple, the temple president at that time was, he was his Iriraj Maharaj's uh, disciple. And he says that I should speak to Giriraj Maharaj because he knows Chira Guru there very well. I said, no, I refuse. So I left uh, ISKCON. I never returned. They banned me and my family from ever entering any of their programs on site or the temple. And uh, so in 2007, we, my wife and I, we went and took, uh, it was the first time met Srila Gurudev and in October we Srila Gurudev in his room. Sajjan Maharaj um, by his grace and mercy he took us directly to Srila Gurudev and Srila Gurudev the first time in my life that I've actually met a pure Vaishnava. Well the first pure Vaishnava that I met in 99 in Vrindavan was Srila Bhakti Pramod Puri Goswami Maharaj. I didn't meet him personally but he was at Srila Prabhupada's disappearance day at the temple. And then Srila Gurudev, I had, after hearing so much about Gurudev, reading his books, and I finally met him in Govardhan in his room. And it was just my wife and I, and Srila Gurudev, he mercifully gave us initiation, Diksha initiation. He accepted us. And um, from then, Srila Gurudev said, he says, now you go back to South Africa and you make platform. At that time in South Africa, they were the first devotee of Srila Gurudev um, in South Africa in, uh, was in 1990, it was Radha Kanta Prabhu. Now he's Bhakti Gaurav Goswami. He's taken sannyas from uh, Shri Bhakti Balab Tirta Goswami Maharaj. And he was alone with his uh, then family. And uh, they were only like about five initial uh, devotees. In 2003, Rasika Sundari and his sister Shamla Saki Didi, they took they, So they were the first batch of Gurudev disciples in, in South Africa. But, you know, they were alone at that time. So when Srila Gurudev told me in 2007, he says, you make platform for me, I'm gonna to come to South Africa. So, you know, I came back to South Africa and the devotees that were uh, close to me, some uh, came and took initiation from Gurudev, some didn't. And those devotees, um, the first batch of devotees were in Peter Maritzburg. This is where Srila Gurudev first came to South Africa. He stayed at my home. And the devotees here, Mukunda Prabhu and his wife, Vamsi Badan Prabhu and his wife, Krishna Priya, Tachikala Didi, uh, Roy Prabhu. And they all, uh, this was a small group. This was, it was a very small group of devotees. And in Durban, there was, at that time, there was practically no devotees. So it grew there um, and, and was trying to make platform with Sajjan Maharaj with the help of Sajjan. Sajjan Maharaj came the second time. He came with uh, Giridhari Prabhu. Brahmachari is staying at Pramananda Prabhu's uh, ashram now. And we tried and we set the, uh, created a platform. Sajjan Manaj was preaching. He also made some devotees in South Africa. And uh, so in 2000 and, um, 2007, 2008, we went back to, 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 to India. And there it was, it was in March. And then Chira Gurudev, he, he, I was sitting, he just had come from Navadri Parikram. And I was sitting in the in the temple after he gave lecture, and then he saw me and he called me, and he was so happy to to see me. And, um, and he says we we'll speak later. And after his uh, the same uh, morning, later in the morning, they were giving to the Gurudev a message, and then after everybody left, and he spoke to me, and he expressed very much that he wanted to come to South Africa. He will come. Let's we just have to make arrangements. So 2008, 2009, so we had 
originally set the date for Srila Gurudev to come in 2009 to South Africa. January, the beginning of 2009, but Srila Gurudev held, was, he was going for checkups and treatment. So they said, no, you can't come in 2009. So we got confirmation uh, later that year that Srila Gurudev is gonna to come to South Africa in 2010. It wasn't still confirmed, but still backward and forward. So um, when Brajana confirmed that you know, now we have set the date, and then I went to, to India in 2009, and there I met with the devotees, and we uh, formed a plan. That time, Damodar Maharaj, he, he uh, volunteered to come to South Africa. He arranged with a few devotees to come with him. Uh, so Devi, Kishari Mohan, um, Neti, uh, Krishna Prem Prabhu, um, um, so they all came to South Africa, and uh, Didi from New York, I just forget her name now. Um, so when they came to South Africa, that was at the end of Kartik. So we were trying to create, to, because we know we're a very small group in South Africa, and we wanted to make this program very successful for, to, for Shila Gurudev. One devotee, he, he went to, to Italy uh, a few years uh, before Gurudev could come. And he was telling Gurudev, you know, you should come to South Africa because you say you went right around the world, but actually you haven't been, if you haven't touched the continent of Africa, you haven't been around the world. So Gurudev he just smiled and he says, yes, that's true. And he will come. So Shila Gurudev, he, in 2009, the devotees, international devotees came to South Africa. We, um, we prepared, we organized, we, we went to various different uh, uh, Hindu temples. We, uh, uh, we, we actually printed the first, this, I don't know if you can see, this is the first flyers that we uh, actually printed um, advertising to the Gurudev's uh, programs. And uh, we printed like about 500 of these all over. And uh, so um, when the devotees came, before the devotees could come the, in Durban, uh, in South Africa, they have the Diwali festival and it's held on the beachfront every every year. So we got a stall over there and we that is where we started the advertising for Shri Gurudev. And um, then ISKCON, ISKCON came to know that now it is official that Chila Gurudev is coming. So they, they also began to, to organize programs on the same day at Chila Gurudev in the same city. So it created quite a bit of a problem and many of the international devotees were upset and they wanted to um, uh, also go to their programs and distribute flyers. But then we, we decided against it. So Chila Gurudev, after Kartik, he flew to Mauritius. Actually, technically, Technically, uh, although Mauritius is part of the of Africa, the, uh, the African Union, um, so technically, Gurudev, the first African country to visit was Mauritius. Gurudev stayed there about three weeks or so, and um, before he could come to South Africa, I think he was writing, and uh, so so technically, Gurudev first landed in Mauritius, um, and then he came to South Africa. He came in uh, January, um, the beginning of January, he landed in Durban, the old airport. And then he came, he stayed at my house. And, and you know, we were ecstatic because when I had left to ISKCON and, you know, I was very close in that, in ISKCON I had a lot of many devotees, friends, well, I thought I had many friends. And when I had left to ISKCON, it was, um, you know, it's a difficult time because many people say, you know, you left Shri Prabhupada, you left, you know. So, um, and, you know, it was, you know, I, I had taken relationships very seriously and I was surprised that these, these so-called friends would have not uh, understood what I was doing. So I had a dream of Shri Gurudev. At that time, that difficult time, uh, around 2006, 2007, and Gurudev came in the dream and he says, don't worry, I will come to South Africa. And I could, I, could, I dreamt in the dream, he was sitting in my front, in the front yard on, on a chair. And um, so Shila Gurudev came, 2010, he came, he stayed at my house and he sat in the same chair in the same place that I saw in the dream. 
And Gurudev, uh, the first program that we held was in, in Peter Maritzburg. Um, and then Gurudev, he, um, that first night, we had 600 uh, people attend. The hall was actually full to capacity. The next morning in the, um, so what happened was that ISKCON, uh, some of the ISKCON devotees, they phoned me, they says uh, they want to come and uh, if, if, if I would mind, they're filming there. I said, no problem, you can come. But I was a bit skeptical about it. So I approached Madam Marat, I asked Madam Marat, Madam Marat said, we, we, we got nothing to hide. We're not doing anything that we, we it's secret. So they can come all they want, they can, they can video. It'll be for their benefit. But actually, the main intention was to film all their, their devotees coming for the program. That was the main intention. That is why they wanted to film. They had like two, one filming what Chile Gurudev was going to say on the stage, and they were filming the devotees. That, so in uh, this, um, I just want to fast forward a little bit. In, in uh, Chile Gurudev's um, uh, Vyasa Puja on the 11th, we're planning to launch the first uh, a website for South Africa, the Bhaktivedanta International. And we want to put that lecture, that first lecture, because in that lecture that Chile Gurudev mentioned in, uh, in, in his talk, he said that ISKCON is the mother, Gaudiya Math uh, is the mother and father of ISKCON. He said it in that. It, maybe the lecture is on online. Uh, and that is where Guru they said. And um, so uh, the next morning, in, in the morning walk at the park, so Guru Dev, he, he looked at me and he says, very nice program. He says uh, there was uh, so many uh, devotees, the hall was packed. Then one devotee there remarked, he said, no, Guru Dev, there's like about 300, 400. Guru Dev said, no, 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 no. There were 600 people. I counted. There were 600 people in that hall. And uh, Chilak Guru Dev was, very, very ecstatic. You know, he was very happy. And, you know, um, and I told Gurudev, I says, this hall was only full because of you. Because you are only, the, you are, you, you can, you are the only one that can attract so many people. Although we were there, we, we made these flyers, we went out, but, you know, the real mercy is of the, from the pure devotee. Gurudev is, a, you know, he attracted all these people. He brought, in fact, even now, all those people when they meet me and they says, you know, when are we having another program like that? When when you're gonna organize such a, a big program like that? Because they must, you know, the singing, Kichari Mohan Sudevi, they were they, you know, they were singing, the devotees, even the local uh, devotees were singing. It's the first time that they've actually witnessed such a thing. And um, when Gurudev was leaving the hall on both nights, the whole every single person in that hall, they stood up in ovation to Srila Gurudev. So um, when Gurudev was at my home, um, at that time we had ordered many books, I know, uh, for, for distribution. And uh, that that's the time I think the Gopi Geet and all those new publications had just come out. And Gurudev was so pleased and he saw all his books, you know, uh, in my house and he says, um, can you translate these books into, what's the local languages here? Then I was telling him, you know, the local African languages. And you know, I to be honest with you, I I don't even speak the local. I understand little of the local, the the main language is Zulu. And I just told Guru that yes, Guru, I I will. He says, oh, yes, Swamiji will be very happy. And uh, so, you know, uh, from that time till now, you know, I've been uh, I'm, I started. I made an effort to start translating to the Guru Dev's Bhagavad Gita into Zulu language. But I'm, I'm doing it, basically, I'm doing it all alone. Um, it's difficult, I don't understand. Zulu language is a very difficult language. Even the the, the local Africans, that's, that's the mother tongue, they find it very difficult actually to, to, to study Zulu. It's a very difficult language. So I'm using a, a translator um, and to translate uh, from uh, English into Zulu, to the Guru Dev's Bhagavad Gita. And I'm I'm going to the preface at the moment, so my intention, my aim is to, and I'm trying to get other devotees to come and assist. At least everyone takes a one chapter, and we can do it. 
So we're trying, we're trying our best to, to have it completed by Chile Gurudev's uh, centennial for his Vyasa Puja, but it's still a far away project. So that's one of the, uh, 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 this is Gurudev, he designed that these books of each should go into this uh, local languages. So Gurudev uh, from, um, uh, you know, my, my, my personal interaction with Chile Gurudev was uh, one devotee she gave one Govardhan Shila to me. And she was one of Shila Prabhupada's disciples, actually. And she came and Ash, Ashram Maharaj came and uh, he, um, she was in Durban, she was in Johannesburg and then she wanted to come and then Ashram Maharaj phoned me and, and I hosted her for a while. And then she gave me his one Govardhan Shila. And then when I was in uh, Braj that following year, um, and then while I was buying a Mukut for the Govardhan, for the Shila, then the, the, uh, the storekeeper there, he, he says, you know, he, he said, open your hand and he put one Govardhan Shila, the same, it's like a triangle uh, shaped and he put a white Shila. He says, this is for you, it matches this, this. I said, no, no, I can't accept because I had to get permission from Shila Gurudev to accept this uh, this other one. He said, no, 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 I'm Bridge Basi, I'm giving it to you, you take it. So I didn't know what to do. So I took it and then, um, at the same time when Gurudev was, after he finished have a message, and I, and I told Gurudev that this is, then Gurudev said, no. He says, yes, you can worship. And then I asked him, how should I worship this other Sheila? He says, how do you want to worship? How do you see? And I told Sheila Gurudev, well, um, I, it's Shumati Radharani. He says, yes, it's okay, you, you carry on. So when Gurudev came to my house when he stayed, then he, he actually, he saw our deities. And in South Africa, our, de our deities, and Ramsi Vedan Prabhu's deities were the first deities to be initiated by Guru the Radha Krishna deities and our Gordon Thai deities. And uh, I think that's the only installed deities that Chile Guru Dev personally installed. So from uh, Peter Maritzburg, Chile Guru Dev went to Durban and we had two nights in, in Durban. And although ISKCON tried to have programs on the same day as us, they, all, they couldn't attract the crowds that we attracted. You know, um, hardly anybody attended their programs. Everybody was coming to our programs. Same thing happened in Durban. And uh, Shira Gurudev, we had two days programs in Durban. And then Shira Gurudev, you know, we that time we didn't have much devotees in Durban. Only when Gurudev came, then the devotees came. So it was a problem where Gurudev was going to stay in Durban. You know, we needed with Gurudev and, and the devotees that he was traveling with. So by Shila Gurudev's mercy again, he arranged um, that Shila Gurudev stay and, and Atul Krishna Prabhu and Rukmini Didi, they from Durban. And um, they came in around that time in 2009 and they, uh, they had known about Gurudev, they hadn't met Gurudev and they agreed, yes, you can, Gurudev can come and stay at our house, a very nice house uh, they, they had and they agreed and then Shila Gurudev came and they hosted him. And now Atul Krishna Prabhu and Rukmini Didi, they one of our senior devotees in, our, in South Africa, and they take so much of responsibility. As sannyasis, Maharajas come, they all uh, they they always ready to assist. And all all the devotees, every single devotee in in South Africa, they've all played a very important part. When Shri Gurudev came, and even after that, hosting the different sannyasis that that came to that comes regularly to, to South Africa. And it's it's really like a teamwork. We, we work as a team. And um, and I'm just praying that, you know, uh, it continues in this way and that um, we really can um, take Shila Gurudev's preaching uh, mission to, uh, to greater heights. Then Shila Gurudev traveled um, from Durban. Actually, um, there's another technical point here. Actually, Gurudev came twice to South Africa. If you look at it, from South Africa, from Durban, Chile Gurudev flew to Johannesburg and he stayed one night and then he flew to Brazil 20, in 2010 for his Vyasa Puja. Then Chile Gurudev, after the Vyasa Puja, he returned in February, he returned to Johannesburg. So he left South Africa to Brazil and then he came back. So technically that's twice he came to South Africa. And then he came to South Africa and then we had the second leg of his programs in uh, Johannesburg. Benoni and in Lanasia. So Gurudev was, was um, at that time, many devotees, even for the first time, they only heard about Chila Gurudev, they all came. 
um, Subananda Prabhu, Johannesburg, they were in Iskon, Anupam uh, Prabhu, um, Hari, uh, Hari Krishna Das Prabhu, they all were young boys in, in Iskon. They heard about Chilaguru and they came and they still in Chilaguru Dev's mission. And um, so Chilaguru Dev, you know, he's he he just he came first time to South Africa, but he knew the, the sincere souls that he, he was going to attract. And he and they all came to his lotus feet. And up till now, everybody is serving Chilaguru Dev. So Chilaguru Dev, he's um, actually we we can't I can't. There's no way that we can actually repay Gurudev, but except follow his instructions, serve his mission. And Gurudev gave me instruction from the first time I met him. He said, I want you to preach in South Africa. I want you to preach. So me personally, I have no qualifications. I don't have any qualifications, spiritually. Um, so I try to, to bring uh, many sannyasis to come South Africa. Pudyapad, Van Marat, Pudyapad, um, the name Kirtan Marat also came. Um, Asha Marat, Sajjan Marat. Nemi Maharaj uh, came, um, Siddhanti Maharaj came, um, Dandi Maharaj, uh, Vishnu Daivata Maharaj, um, Chamarani Didi, so many senior devotees, they've graced the shores of uh, South Africa. And, and, and so we're hoping that, you know, now we, the whole world is in this crisis of COVID. We're hoping that more devotees can come. Our only, the only uh, lack at the moment and Gurudev and the sannyasis, senior devotees, are, are, is that are desiring that we have a center. You know, we, that's the only thing that is lacking. We don't have a center. One of our devotees in Stanger, that's in the north of Durban, he's built a temple. Um, he's built a temple, a huge temple for Srila Gurudev. But we want something also more central. And also, you know, one of the other glories of, of Srila Gurudev's mercy in South Africa is that, you know, South Africa historically went through a period of apartheid for many years. And uh, there's still some racial division in South Africa up till now. So one of our greatest, uh, by Srila Gurudev's mercy and Avadut Maharaj, um, we, we reached out to um, the um, white-bodied uh, community because at the moment it's mainly Indian uh, community in South Africa some uh, black bodied uh, devotees and uh, so in the south coast of uh, Durban Abadut Maharaj came and he went and he preached and now we have at least about um, maybe eight white bodied uh, devotees in South Africa uh, um, Guru Dev's uh, uh, Sangha so this is also a great victory because we can see that since Shri Guru Dev set foot in this country, then um, uh, so many devotees are coming. Also, another thing is that in uh, Shri Guru Dev, we always mentioned. Up, sorry, time's up. Oh, sorry. I just want just one, one last point. Where in 1975, Shri Prabhupada came to South Africa, and Shri Guru Dev he, he mentioned that. Um, he always wanted to go to the places where Shri Prabhupada went and to take the dust. So the, the, the program that we had in Durban, um, at that time that hall wasn't there, it was a, it was a pundle. Shri Prabhupada came and he gave uh, at that same spot. Now Shri Mathilde Gurudev came, we didn't even know until after that. When Shri Gurudev came in 2010, he also went to the same, uh, the same sp uh, hall where Shri Prabhupada came. So, so thank you very much. There's so much we can say, but I know time is uh, of the essence. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you so much for coming in from South Africa there. The, um, we have something in common, Jagan Mohan. Jagan Mohan was yes. the first person I ever met in Krishna consciousness. So yes. ever, whenever his name is mentioned, I, I'm still friendly with him to this day. Oh. It brings a big yes. smile to my face because he's also oh. such a <laughs> wonderful character. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. he's tremendous. Thanks. He's tremendous. And actually, I, um, I've heard about your South African tour many times because I'm very close to Sudevi and Kishori, and also um, they brought Nandini over, who you yes. refer to as Niti, and yes. uh, they told me the full drama of the South African tour. And I have to say, uh, you've underplayed your, you've underplayed your role. You've been quite understated because I, I got the sense that it was quite fraught with. Uh, tension between the sanghas and and you guys handled it incredibly 
Um, yeah. And it was a very successful tour. And one thing I, I didn't hear you mention, but I heard that Chief, uh, the Zulu Chief Butelezi yes. was in one of your, yeah. was in one of the uh, Chief Robin. Butelezi, along with Nelson Mandela and the clerk, were, they were a triumvirate of peacemakers. And he yes. was a prince and a very, yes. a, a person with Influential. actual standing beyond South Africa. And he came to yes. one of your, to one of those uh, 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 events with Shula Gurudeva. Right? Yes, yes. Uh, came from Devon. Yeah, and we owe, uh, I can't remember when I last said this, I think it may be in the last program, but we really owe, I feel I owe a great debt of gratitude towards all of the Prabhupada disciples who are like the yeah. first generation who who uh, spilt the blood for, if you like, trustafarians like me to come in. We, we, we're benefiting of the inheritance of Prabhupada and his devotees. Yes. The same goes with, um, with people who were in ISKCON before Srila Gurudev, you know, you took a great risk to uh, to be in ISKCON. I mean, Gurudev would say we're all ISKCON, you know, Gurudev was non-sectarian, yeah. but he couldn't help yeah. the fact that some people saw it in sectarian terms. So I can't imagine, as someone who never went via ISKCON, uh, I can't imagine what it must have been like to be in the, in the institution of ISKCON and making yeah. that making that step is very, very brave and must have been both terrifying on one level, but must have given you yes. so much extra nishta and extra yes. absorption and bhakti to, to take that risk. So I, I really, I take my dunda, my dunda hats to you, my dunda vat pranams and take my hat off to you for doing that. Actually, um, I'm, 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 I'm going to also write a book about um, Gurudev's tour, the, uh, exactly what happened, the, right. the main role player and how, so it'll come. Actually, you know, the time, time frame, because of my work and I'm you know busy and I, you know, I'm in the emergency field, so uh, it takes a lot of my time. But that book, I was everything was supposed to be done for Gurudev's uh, centennial, but you know, but hopefully you know the whole year is the centennial. Hopefully we can get some one thing accomplished by this year. That'd be beautiful. Love. And if you want to promote it <clears throat> through this, please come back and promote yes. it. That'd be Definitely. beautiful. Thanks, Prabhu. Well, Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. So, uh, um, Dame Anti, I love the fact you're doing the needlework. It's very relaxing. Please come every week. <laughs> it's fantastic. I'm like looking at you, like feeling really relaxed as you're as you're doing your sewing. <laughs> I'll place I'll place my order by WhatsApp. Okay. <laughs> it's so nice. <laughs>